Time is now 638 AM and you know, regardless of the deer season with all the traffic detours we're seeing on Highway 247, the things that are going on with the interchange, if you're heading out to work this morning, you definitely want to take an extra few minutes. Oh yeah, definitely. I had to take the Spring Street non exit today. Take exit two. It was so a little had, bit of a little roundabout. Yeah. It was a few extra minutes, but I would also take a few extra minutes just because we do have a little bit of rain. Exactly. This morning. So you so want to be safe. You want to be safe. Exactly. And so here on the radar, we're seeing some rain starting to move into uh, Macon County and Taylor County, and it's just very, very light rain. So not really a big concern, but it could make those roads slick a little bit harder to see if you're driving on the the roads this morning and we have a big swath of rain just to our east in our friends in Savannah, but otherwise we have a little bit of rain for Vidalia, Soperton and Alamo. Again, not expecting anything heavier than moderate rain this morning. This is all ahead of a cold front that will be sweeping through the area over the next few hours into late tonight. This cold front brought very severe storms to parts of Missouri and Illinois, and thankfully it will deteriorate before it gets to Georgia. So for your afternoon hours, starting at lunchtime, temperatures will be in the 60s and 70s, 69 for making 70 for Warner Robin and plenty of cloud cover. Then those clouds and winds start to shift as that cold front starts approaching from the north. It will start sweeping down, bringing a chance for some rain ahead of it. Most of the rain will be gone by the time we hit late tonight, but still a few lingering showers by extreme late tonight, talking 11, 12 p.m., especially for our southeastern counties. And by the time we hit early tomorrow morning, we'll be done with this first cold front and temperatures will be dropping into the 50s. Your Tuesday will look dry just because we have all that dry air behind that first cold front. We will be dry for Wednesday, so enjoy those next two days because our next weather system is on the horizon. This low pressure system will start making its way through central Georgia by the time we hit 3 a.m. on Thursday. Thursday. There is an occluded front with this. An occluded front means that this weather system is very, very powerful. And so it will be a stronger cold front than the first one, bringing the chance for some heavier rain, maybe even some isolated severe weather. But thankfully, because we'll be so cool between Tuesday and Wednesday, we won't have as much instability or enough energy to really fire off a lot of these storms. But we could experience some heavy rain Thursday morning that will linger into Thursday afternoon and will keep lingering as we head towards your Thursday evening. Because this low pressure system is so powerful, it will keep having storms wrap around it. So Friday, we could still see a pop up shower or two that will linger into Friday afternoon and maybe even Saturday morning. But thankfully, by that time, the low pressure system will move out and a high pressure system will move in just in time for Halloween. So your Sunday morning looks dry and so does your Sunday afternoon. So for today, temperatures will be in the low 80s. This will be our last day of 80s for a while. We'll drop drastically to the 70s by tomorrow. And then as we head towards the end of October, temperatures, high temperatures, only in the 60s, just the same temperatures we're experiencing this morning. But at least it'll be a dry and clear Halloween. We'll be back after this.